Hello, my name is Naya and I'm a sophomore at the University of Chicago studying environmental science and global studies. This summer, I worked remotely from Wisconsin, but was partnered with the MS Swaminathan Research Foundation, which is located in Chennai in Tamil Nadu, India. Um, I had the privilege of working with Dr. Rangalakshmi and having her as my mentor this summer. She's a developmental researcher at the MS Swaminathan Research Foundation and the head of the eco-technology department, specializing in areas such as climate change, sustainable agriculture, and gender and development. So the internship consisted of me having weekly meetings with Dr. Ranga Lakshmi. Um, I started off by reading over some of the past projects that the eco-technology department had completed in areas such as soil health, um, sustainable agriculture, and mentions of the Green Revolution caught my eye. And this eventually led me to conduct a literature review on the impacts of India's Green Revolution on modern day agriculture, specifically looking at the intensive use of chemical fertilizers on soil health. I also looked into some different techniques that could be used to mitigate some of the environmental harms that ensued, such as organic farming, agroforestry, and other sustainable and integrated approaches. What I did during the internship was read various academic articles and research papers, and then I would write weekly summaries about them to take out some of the main ideas. And then I'd also write down some questions. And then during my weekly meetings with Dr. Rangalakshmi, I'd bring up the questions that I had to seek some clarification and then also get some further feedback on subjects that I should be pursuing further. The reason the Green Revolution matters to me um, and its impact on agriculture, the environment, and communities um, is that I wanted to help paint a slightly more complex narrative of the Green Revolution than is typically told and add some nuances into that story. Um, of course, the Green Revolution is one of the most influential and profound and has had one of the most profound impacts on global agriculture. And many of the technologies implemented during this time um, have been very beneficial to modern day agriculture and ensuring food security. High yield variety seeds and chemical fertilizers have been monumental in increasing crop productivity and ensuring that more people have access to food. And I believe that all these technological advances are very useful and necessary, but I also think it's important to look at the other side of things and look at the environmental damages that ensued as a result of this movement. To fully achieve a world where access to healthy and affordable food is no longer an issue, um, we must place sustainability and the experiences of farmers at the forefront of our focus. The work I did this summer was very small in comparison to other professionals in the field of agriculture. But I hope that what I've written encourages people to look to the past to learn some lessons that can create a better future. Um, I also think that it's essential to place some more resources towards research relating to the impact of fertilizer on soil health and also sustainable agriculture techniques that could be used to improve soil quality. I'd probably say that my favorite part of this experience was getting to meet with Dr. Ranga Lakshmi and learn more about her career and knowledge of agriculture. Um, I also really enjoyed just getting to read about new topics that I don't think I otherwise would have learned about without this opportunity. This experience mainly related to my personal and professional goals by opening my eyes to different careers that I could potentially pursue in the future. It was really cool to see how the MS Swaminathan Research Foundation uses their research in very practical ways that impacts farmers directly and is making sure that they're meeting their needs. Um, and finally, I just wanted to say a huge thanks to Dr. Ringa Lakshmi and the executive director of the MS Swaminathan Research Foundation, Dr. G. N. Hariharan, and all the staff working at MSSRF for doing such great work. Um, I also wanted to say thank you to Rebecca Picard for putting in so much hard work into this internship program and making sure that the experience was really great for everybody and that it ran smoothly. Um, and lastly, I wanted to say thank you to Ms. Barbara Stinson, the president of the World Food Prize Foundation, um, and all the staff working at WFPF.